One of the questions I get asked all the time is, why should I vote independent? It's a cracking question and it deserves a cracking answer because that's exactly what I'm asking people to do. So what can independents achieve? Well, one thing they can do, one thing they absolutely must do is work and work and work for their communities. Independents have only one boss, the voters. No party bosses, no donor bosses, no lobbyist bosses. If they want their communities to vote for them at the next election, they have to show up. They have to put runs on the board. They have to deliver for their communities. Second, if an independent gets elected, a seat can move from a safe one to a marginal one. Hughes has been a safe liberal seat for eons, and it's why we have been ignored and taken for granted. After all, if an MP knows that they're going to get their job back no matter what, why would they work hard for their communities? Third, if there is no clear result at the next election, independents might be called upon to guarantee supply to one party or another. This is called a hung parliament and requires the formation of a minority government. When this happens, the major parties need the support of members outside their own party. And this is where it gets exciting. Here, independents can get significant and immediate action on the issues that they care about. Why? Because if the major party needs their support, then they have to guarantee that they will take action on those issues. It's what happened in 2010 with the Julia Gillard minority government. Now, say what you like about Labor, but it is a fact that that minority government was one of the most productive and positive governments in Australian parliamentary history. By that, I mean that Julia Gillard passed more legislation than in any other parliamentary term. Finally, don't you think something's gone badly wrong in Australian politics? That we've regressed as a country, that nothing seems to get done, that we lack the innovation, the foresight, the guts we once had? Don't you think something's got to give? The dominance of the major parties in Australian politics may have created stability in the past, but it's not working anymore. Our major parties have, in recent decades, proven themselves unwilling or incapable to deal with new problems. Climate change, intergenerational inequality, the speed and complexity of geopolitical change. New problems need new solutions. And so, at the risk of sounding corny, here's my vision for the future of Australian politics. I see us at a point where we're moving away from a two-party system to a triangular one. We'll have the two parties at the bottom, where they've always been, and then we'll have independence leading the way at the top in the sensible middle where most of us are. And so, please, give us a chance. If it doesn't work out, Try something different next time. At this point, I really think we've got to give it a shot.